Welcome to Kids Auto and Truck Repair. Behind the camera, we have cameraman Matt. Matt, thanks for being here. Uh, I wanted to share this with you. This is gonna be a quick video. I wasn't gonna film it initially, but as I'm doing this, I was like, you know what? Let's film this. Hopefully, this is gonna help someone out there. We are servicing this um, Robinier machine, the AC machine. This is our uh, one, two, three, four YF machine. This is the Robinier AC 1234-4. Matt, if you can come show these numbers over here. So the issue with this machine is it kept giving us a error on the screen over here that said oxygen sensor uh, error, okay? Now, Matt, if you can show the inside of the machine, look at this. So we have a tank over here. We have a filter over here. So that's the inside of the machine. Now, I had to remove this refrigerant identifier. Okay, I took this off off camera, but I'm gonna put it back together on camera so you can see how it goes. Now, this over here is the oxygen sensor for the machine. Now, Matt was asking me yesterday about this. Matt, you were like, do these AC machines have oxygen sensors? Like, yeah, they do. So here's one. When I talked to my Napa rep guy, he told me that this sensor goes out often. So it's an item that usually fails. Actually, they brought me another one. They were gonna have a Robinier technician come out here and replace this for us. I looked at it, I said, oh, this is pretty straightforward. I can replace this myself. Actually, we have instructions here too. So Matt, if you can show this right there. Now, to those of you that have Robinier AC machines, this will be helpful. But if you don't have an AC machine, maybe it won't be helpful. So I hope it is. So we have instructions. We can read the instructions. I'm gonna put this over here. You can pause so you can read the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. Here it's showing how to remove the front cover of the AC machine. Again, you can pause this and read right there. It's pretty straightforward. So now let's install our brand new oxygen sensor. This is the old sensor, right? And this is the new sensor that we received. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. As you can see, they both look identical. So this is gonna go into the refrigerant identifier. So it's gonna go in here like this. I'm gonna put it in like that. Make sure it's straight. And then it screws in. So we're gonna use a flat screwdriver and screw it in like this. Okay, it wasn't too tight. You're just gonna get it snug like that. Now, just take my word for it. I should have filmed this before I removed the old oxygen sensor, but we had a message on the machine that was, that was saying oxygen sensor error. So now we're gonna connect the oxygen sensor connector here, just like that. And then this will just go inside here. And then you're just gonna push this cover like that. That's it. So this is how you replace the oxygen sensor on the Robinier refrigerant identifier. So then I'm going to reinstall it. So this is gonna go right here. So there's one screw that goes over here. And then there's another one that goes over here. Just like that, first one is tight. Now I'm gonna tighten the second one. Perfect. And then there's a filter. There's a filter that goes over here. Now when you install this filter, there's an arrow. You probably won't be able to see it. It's pretty dark there's an arrow on the filter. So this arrow points up and then it's gonna go in these little holes over here. 
we're going to push it in just like that. Nice. Now, if this filter is yellow or dirty, you have to change it. This machine is not that old. We got this machine not too long ago. I think we got this about three months ago. So, And then I'm going to connect the wires over here. Matt, if you can show this here, we're going to connect this wire there. And then this guy here. And then this one's going to go... Perfect. Now, let me turn it this way. Now I'm going to reinstall the cover. The cover is going to go in just like that. There. Nice. So I have a couple bolts. There's this one that goes over here. Then there's another one goes right here and then oops oh no that goes up front right here it has a washer on it and then there's a third one that goes here We're going to tighten this bolt right there, just snug. And then this one here. So basically everything I'm doing is the reverse process of the removal process. And then there's this drain tank that goes over here, just like that. So now let me get a power, power cord. Let's turn on our AC machine. If everything is good, the um, O2 sensor error message would no longer be there. How does this even expire? Look at this one. How does it expire? So that's the old one. I don't know. Smell it? Mm hmm. <laughs> what does oxygen smell like, Matt? <laughs> I used to smell it. I mean, eh, just curious. Curiosity killed the cat. So, yeah, I mean, that's good. We're good. It did it after a while. It took a while. For it it took a while for it to come on? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to wait until this is done, and then uh, we'll bring you guys back up to see if that message will go away. I believe it will. So let's wait a little bit. We're not going to show you on camera as we're waiting. We'll bring you guys back up. One time Ian and I were using this and I was like, oh, this is probably, that was actually my first time using this. I was like, this probably is just going to take like 15 minutes. We hooked it up to Ian's car and it took forever. I was like, dude, I got to go. I have a date. So sorry. Let's disconnect this. You can do this tomorrow. Yeah, I ended up disconnecting this. So yeah, it takes forever. This machine is still going through its checks. It's going to take a little while. So I decided to end the video here. I know it's fixed. It wasn't doing this before, so this tells me that it's good to go. So I hope this video is helpful. If you have a Rabonier uh, machine and then it gives you a message on the display that says uh, oxygen sensor error, you got to replace the sensor and that's how you do it. So I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumb down. But if you do, tell us why so we can make better videos in the future. If you're a subscriber coming back to watch this, I appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Cameraman Matt, thanks for being behind the camera. See you guys next time.